big extras. In the previous video I showed about how to fix a strain problem on angles for text. Now, you don't have to obviously think of it as a problem. I mean, it is actually a useful feature. And this is in the preferences and there's constraint angle. You can say, like, set it to 45 or obviously 90 or anything, any angle. Don't have to go with go 43 degrees if you wish. Right, now if you start typing now, it will actually type the text at 45 degrees, which you might or might not want. And it just keeps typing, so I'm just going to just type. And so everything is actually at 45 degrees. Well, obviously within limits. Obviously some of these tools, for some weird reason, do not follow the constraint. The grid tool, for some weird reason, doesn't. However, if you go to the rectangle tool, it actually is constrained now to 45. And I'm just going to give it a colour. Obviously not much use. You can't see it. So every time you actually create a line, you actually see it at 45 degrees. I'm just going to go to the ellipse tool and the same as well. And rounded, etc. Oh, I suspect maybe there's some other tools as well. But those are the, the general ones that actually work with that constraint angle. Like I say, you can now, of course, go back to preferences again, and preferences, general, and I can set it, say, to 60. And it's obviously useful for a vast number of different designs if you just want to work at a particular angle all the time without thinking, I have to rotate to that angle. So it's actually already defaulting to that angle. Hope you found this of interest. 